Hello everybody, this is Skybase Games and welcome back to Crossout. And today I'm going to make a basic guide on to how to make a fusion vehicle. I'm only going over the top part and how to build one. And for this we're going to be using a wyvern cabin, but any four wide cabin will do really. Most people use quantum because 12 energy and it's only 9 long while the werewolf is 10 long. But just for easiness, I'll be using a wyvern. So what we need is you're going to make a really basic vehicle around this and then you're going to make a tower towards the ground. And for this, I'll be simply using a couple of quarter walls. And basically what you want to do is press C. Like first go out in one direction, either towards the side or towards the rear. Just go out a little bit and then go downwards. And as you guys can see right here, I only can though go like this high. You can go actually get higher with this by using either uh, hovers or maglax. So if you press A, press a hover, you guys can see I press C again. I got additional two blocks. Simply by mounting the thing, and if I just even just I can just remove it afterwards, that's all fine. If you press a use a mech lag, you get even one more block. So what you basically need to make a fusion is one mech lag. You just place it, and after you're done, you can remove it. Now the cabin is suspended in the air, and you can actually continue building. And I'm gonna just gonna make a really simple, like X sample build, really. <laughs> Oh god, there goes Damien. <laughs> and... Let's see, what are we gonna mount on here? Let's go for a little bit of piers. Okay, this would actually require 12 energy. There. Uh, okay. Let me think for a second, guys. I think I'm just gonna take this out. And I should be able to just mount the quantum under. Everything should be connected. There we go. I'm saying like for easy use you can do that, but with the <laughs> other cabin, but I'm still ending up using this cabin. Like basic weaponry. And note that you actually do not really want to use these kind of parts. You really want to use as light powers as possible, like Biggie Step Place, for example. There are only eight points. Do not use any of these parts right here because they're shot through. You really want to use like buggy step plate, uh, the crutches, the crater, uh, the fan ramp. Like, it only has like six durability. You, you generally want to have use parts that are under 10 durability each because, um, like, when you're building like this, um, first up. Gonna make sure I do not get forced down to the ground. I will have to put down either a wasp or a pyre in order to get myself disconnected. And that will require four more energy points. So that's why fusions are actually have like a little bit of a downside when building stuff. I'm gonna actually rotate this one around. One on this side. And then you're gonna use probably wanna use a generator right here. If you use a gas gas generator, it is pretty volatile, so it is easy to take out with the wasp. And it require it gives three energy for the wasp. Um, later on, if you want to do a lot of fusions, I suggest investing into one pyre because it only uses two energy, which basically means you get to use two more energy on the main build. But then, of course, you cannot use the gas generator because it gives three energy. And, okay, like, you can use the gas energy to pay for the wasp, but you cannot use the third energy point from the gas generator to fuel the main build because you're going to destroy Earth in the decoupling process. Next up is basically making a floor around this thing. And you generally want to make it a little bit like this. And go one to here. 
And then we're gonna just grab the narrow wings. Really easy parts to build with. Give you quite a lot of surface to work with as well. Now let's put it this way. Uh, what? There we go. Can I actually just rotate them like this? And then probably just like go a little bit back again. Just go a little bit further. And like this, you should have a stable enough platform to work with. It's a little bit wide out, though. All the blocks down here, uh, of course, they do add power score. So you do not, do not want to add too much. And now you just want to test, okay, get the wasp really close to the block. And fire it. As you guys can see, I happen to exactly disconnect even the parts that are close right there. So that's good. Um, it probably means I might be able to like move this thing a little bit further back somewhere. I'll be able to put it down there and put the wasp right there. Get a little bit closer there. Okay, pressing Alt to just lock it. Okay, now you, as you can see, the actual blocks are staying there. So that means I actually have to move it up compared to that. Okay, how am I gonna do that? Okay, I'm just gonna connect using the Wasp, I guess. Still connected up. So you have to test a little bit where it is, because you do not want to damage the cabin, but you do want to take out those blocks. And that's where, again, that's, those are like the little things that give you a challenge when building one of these machines. I think I'm going to go back to this side. And I'll just use like a little small part to connect in between. Still connected, so we're gonna move it up. Got like a little bit of trial and error going on. Looks like we'll wanna have to vertical it. Still on there. Damn. <laughs> and now we're not even detonating it. If you want to detonate it and get a bigger explosion, you can just chuck on a fuel barrel. Somewhere close. Those things don't have that much health. And they will explode. Hopefully. Not working this time for some reason, but... I think you guys got the idea by now. What we're doing. There we go. Got the little buggy. And that's basically how to make one of these fusions. You can really do whatever you want here as long as you can manage to fit it in the slot. And that will be a separate video, so I'm gonna keep it at this for now. Hope you guys enjoyed, and catch you guys all later. Bye. Bye, guys.